especially with women like you. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome or welcome back. If it is your first time here, my name is Kiki Carr. I am a makeup artist and a licensed esthetician, which means this channel is professional advice. That's right. So today I wanted to share with you the absolute only makeup hack that you need. It's not extremely innovative or anything like that. As I stated, I am a professional makeup artist. As the client, you feel and want your makeup to be fresh, right? If your event starts at six, you trying to get your makeup done at four so that it can be fresh. But actually, it's best to have it on like two or three hours before your event. Let it be sitting on your skin, let it oxidize, let your body heat it up, let your natural oils come back out, allow the product to sink in, and it'll look just more natural and more pliable and more movable and more fresh and more skin-like and just more settled. Because you know that makeup, it'll leave a powdery makeup cast. So we speed that process up by, you know, applying it with our hands, letting the heat from our hands heat it up, and using setting sprays and finishing sprays to kind of take away that powdery cast but what if you kind of did all of that and instead of waiting on your body to heat the makeup up you heat it up with a blow dryer i know it sounds so corny but let me tell you baby the skin skins when I do it that way. So, boom. Ask me, do I care if I look a little bit silly? Absolutely not. Show sure don't. This is a makeup hack that I absolutely love. It has changed the game. It has changed how, how I would do my makeup forever. And it truly is a makeup hack because I've noticed that people use hack interchangeably with tips and tricks. I don't though, you know what I mean? To me, tips and tricks are things that are like helpful for you. It'll help your makeup like look better. If we are talking about tips and tricks, now I could go on and on and on and on and on. You let me know if you would like a tips and tricks video for me, baby, because psh, honey. But hacks, they make things that you have to do either easier or faster, right? Less complicated. You know what I mean? Like we have seen makeup hacks out here where people are using a fork to help them contour their nose and stuff like that. You want a perfect contour, use a fork, use a spoon and all of this stuff like that. If hacks could be in a bottle, if hacks could be bought, if somebody could package hacks, if you could get hacks from the store, it would be this. Okay, this is the Inglot Duraline. And baby, this liquid right here is so magical. If you are one of those girlies who is a minimalist in makeup, or you're a makeup artist, and you know, you're not trying to have a big, heavy kit carrying around all of this stuff. If you are a doll that likes to use blush color as your lip color or your lip color as your blush color you know you kind of like crunch it down type of girl like that you want this trust me it is so multifunctional when your cream product is playing you because it's drying out add some of this it's going to revitalize it. It's going to juice it back up. It's going to bring it back to life like better than ever before, like new, like honestly. This turns eyeshadows into liquid liners, okay? Like if you're a makeup artist, you don't want gold, red, blue liquid liners in your kit, you know what I mean? It also waterproofs whatever product that you mix with it it intensifies pigments listen i'm sure it's makeup artists out there who could tell you all of what they do with it these is just a few things that's why i say it's like a hack in a bottle and this product is just like 
a money saver it's a multitasker it does so much another hack that i used long ago and shared like one of the very first youtube videos i made oh don't look at it it's it's embarrassing but it was about how you can put tape on your outer corners of your eye in like an upward fashion to help you have a nice crisp wing. It acts as like a shield or a guard or a guide so that you don't mess up. Another makeup hack and this is probably getting into more along the lines of people who are artists but it also applies to people who are not because if you are a makeup girly then you have had a powder product that was a pressed powder product that you dropped and it shattered and you probably thought it was over you probably threw it away you probably were peed but you don't have to be scoop that joint right on up baby press it right back into that pan nice and firmly and then just pour a little alcohol on it not even a little actually saturated with alcohol and that product is going to firm back up and set and be like new like it'll be like it never happened another hack so that your liners can go on nice and smooth and creamy because if you have like a daughter like me who play in your makeup and lose tops and stuff like that those liners can dry out and you can't like put the dura line on a pencil liner because it's meant to like mix it's a mixing medium so you can revive that dried out liner you can bring some creaminess back to it you can help it glide on better by just heating it up you can take a lighter and you know kind of wave it over that tip just to get the product melted a little bit and warmed up and then it the liner will perform so much better for you again that heat like in makeup we use low-key we use heat to help us all of the time whether it's body heat heat from a lighter and now in 2023 baby we got heat from a blow dryer honey yes we do another hack that i love to do is again the minimalist you don't want a bunch of stuff so you don't have many brushes, right? You 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 need a fan brush, but you don't have a fan brush. You have a really big powder brush. Well, you can just pinch it like this. A fan brush with this hack. And another hack that I love is kind of borderline tip as well. Is to use your powder, your baking powder, to catch fallout the shadows that have the most color payoff a lot of the times have a lot of fallout if they are not tightly pressed so definitely tap that brush off and secondly just leave your bake on and honestly you can have shadow all over your face and all you would have to do is just whisk it away with a brush if you like today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up also sign up for my free beauty community okay like if you haven't i hope i hope you know that you are welcomed and i would love to chat with you more and talk with you more about beauty makeup skincare fashion i send content just like this straight to your inbox the information that i know helps me so i absolutely would love to share that with you so if you're interested be sure to click that link like comment share and subscribe and i'll be sure to see you on the next one Mwah! i've been losing friends and finding peace honestly that sounds